Hi guys, it's me, Lanessa, your coach and broker friend. I am here today to discuss some of the, I guess the question would be, what have, what are some of the things that I've done to keep the momentum going in my real estate sales business? And I can tell you firsthand, um, for those who are newly licensed or those who have been licensed for years, it can be very frustrating at times with this business. And there's a lot of times where it's rewarding and there's lots, a lot of joy, you know, to see the face um, when a new homeowner get their new keys or a seller finally sells a house so that they can move on. But there are some frustrating times and I can tell you what got me through those times. Reading. It is so important to read books that are based on helping you to build your character, giving you business techniques and ideas. Um, I can, on a different video, I have a list of books that I've read. I've read so many books. Um, I don't recommend any one particular book because everyone is on different levels. So just where wherever you are, and I can tell you who moved my cheese is one that I like to read maybe every few years because we grow, things change in our lives. So I think Who Moved My Cheese is a really good start and a book to always keep in mind. Actually, there's a um, PDF on Google that you can just download, Who Moved My Cheese. But anyway, some of the techniques and some of the things that I do to keep the momentum going is also to surround myself with positive, like-minded people. It is so important as real estate agents, and I say real estate agents, I am a realtor. I am a realtor. I am a member of the National Association of Realtors, so I can call myself a realtor. Everybody's not a realtor. That's going to be another topic, realtor versus real estate agent. Right now, I'm going to use the word real estate agent. It is so important that real estate agents network. Get out and meet people. I can't tell you how many times I've had a client who was in a difficult position. Maybe they needed um, a bank statement loan. I didn't know anything about a bank statement loan until I networked a couple of nights ago and met someone who says, hey, we don't need um, any, you know, um, W-2 forms or whatever the case may be. It's not traditional. Everybody doesn't fall in that traditional setting. And you have to be able to think out of the box and be able to be a resource. That's one of my biggest things is be a resource for your clients. Everyone's situation is different. Don't stay in that standard traditional, oh, 700 credit score, you know, X amount of dollars, you qualify. There's some people who qualify, but they're going to take a different route. And they're going to need to know that person who can get them there. So network, read, remain positive, and surround yourself with positive people. This is my time. I hope you enjoyed this segment. If you have any questions, please email lanessa at pettigrewrealty.com and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Happy selling.